Kaboom! Shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass that is truly near and dear to my heart. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that it's true. It's your health. It's your wellness. It is self-care. So I am bringing Angelo Poli to talk about unlocking your metabolism and transforming into the best version of yourself. Now, who is Angelo? He's an internationally recognized expert in fitness and nutrition. He's the founder of MetPro, the world's first algorithm-based transformation engine. MetPro specializes in developing customized nutrition and training programs that are specific to an individual individuals' metabolism, goals, and lifestyle needs. Their clientele range from Olympic athletes, NFL MVPs, to physique models, business leaders, and your very own JLD. That's right. I utilize Mepro and love it. Angelo has been featured in Men's Health, Sports Illustrated, and the Wall Street Journal, and he's a wellness consultant for universities and hospitals around the country. So Fire Nation, let's unlock your metabolism and transform into the best version of yourself as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsor. Fire Nation, the last thing you need when it comes to hiring a team is trying to figure out all the different places you need to post your job so the right candidates find it. Luckily, there's one place for that, Zip Recruiter. Post your job with one click, then their powerful matching technology scans millions of resumes across this network of hundreds of job boards to find the right people for your job and actively invite them to apply so you get qualified candidates fast. And right now, you can try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That that's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. So Angelo, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. Hey, Fire Nation. Okay, something, something most people don't know about me. Uh, I actually have been entrepreneurial since I was a little kid. And uh, my first job was actually selling shoes. And I learned, uh, oh man, I was probably 16 or 17, and I learned really early on that uh, you have to approach different people in different ways because everybody has different values and things that they're passionate about. But most people don't know that I got my start as a shoe salesman. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to date you, but I have seen some video. I mean, you were actually selling shoes. This is pre-internet stuff, right? This is pre-internet stuff. <laughs> easy, easy there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. And I will say this is that uh, that has become a huge market right now. I mean, somebody who I'm good friends with, Gary Vaynerchuk, always talks about flipping shoes and doing this and doing that. But back in the day, Fire Nation, before the internet, when you actually had to approach people and read their vibe, that's when you can develop some really cool skills. And I think that's really served Angelo well over the years. And as I told you in the intro, Fire Nation, this is a special masterclass for me for a number of reasons. Number one, you know, after a few years running my business, it was obvious to me that you can have all the financial success in the world, but if you don't have your health, if you don't have your wellness, if you're not energized and feeling good, it means so little. So I wanted to combine that. So I've been on a health journey for now over three years and I've done so much for my health, so much for my wellness. And I've been utilizing MetPro's amazing services now for well over a month. Natalie is my personal MetPro concierge and she is just amazing. And we you know, are connecting literally every single day via text, but we talk on the phone once a week. They just have an amazing service that I've been benefiting from. And again, it's not even just nutrition stuff. Like Angela and I are gonna get on a call a little bit later next week to talk about some posture issues that I'm having. That's a really big deal if you don't focus on it, Fire Nation. But if you catch these things early, you can crush it, nip it in the bud, and have a great, pain-free, healthy life. So again, our audio masterclass today is unlocking your metabolism and transforming into the best version of yourself. And of course, Angelo is a great person to talk to about this. So first and foremost, Angelo, who the heck are you? And again, we're not looking for this long-winded <laughs> version because, you know, we're looking to really get into the meat of the content, but give us a real quick synopsis about you. I have been in the, the fitness um, training, coaching scene for quite some time. So when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a trainer. So that's the path I went down, only I wasn't a very good one. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's because I just didn't have the life experience yet. But um, early into my career, I unfortunately suffered a number of pretty pretty debilitating injuries, um, forced me to actually walk with a cane for almost a decade. So uh, at least in my lo local community, I was known as the, the 
the coach, the trainer that walked with a cane. And that's not a great look in your 20s, no. but I was determined. Um, and what it did is force me to really focus on the things that matter most, the strategy. And that, that ended up drawing a straight line to nutrition and metabolism because everybody comes to me and has fitness goals. But for, I, I'm going to say, 85% of the phone calls that I'll get, weight loss or fat loss is the first step in that progression of goals to fitness, to health. Um, and it's not that that's the most important thing. It's it's the most elusive thing mm. for for so many people. And so that ended up being my, my focus after years of working with the physique community, um, bodybuilders, physique, fitness, bikini models, all, the whole nine yards, then transitioning into working with pro athletes and the performance community. And then now, um, now most of our attention that we still do all of that is in helping uh, kind of the executive athletes, right? Professionals who are, they have careers, they have family, they have responsibility. And now what they're looking for is a ROI on the time that uh, they can invest. Because you can, you can go to a hundred different experts out there and I'll tell you something you probably aren't going to hear every day. Um, there's a hundred different fitness gurus out there, and I have seen every one of their programs work. That's the issue. It's that they don't all work for everyone every time. So it's, since there's so many good strategies out there, how do you really cut through the noise and identify what strategy nutritionally, what strategy for your fitness and exercise is right for you today. And then even more importantly, how do we fit it into your lifestyle? Because your lifestyle is different from the next person. And so that's kind of how uh, my company, MetPro, which by the way is short for metabolic profiling, uh, was born. And, uh, and so here we are, you know, a few years later working with uh, CEOs and executives and 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 anyone uh, that just wants to know what is the best possible way to optimize their strategy. And here we are. And Fire Nation, as I mentioned, JLD, yours truly, myself, I am one of those people that MetPro is working with and I love it. And again, I know this posture thing's been something that I've been dealing with for a while now. I have like this acupuncture mat and all these things, but it starts at the core. Like you've got to fix it at the core. And these are just one of the many, many things when you can identify through having actual concierge, one-on-one -on -one independent work with somebody that really knows what they're talking about can make all the difference in the world. And now, Angelo, I personally, like many of my listeners, I'm a step-by-step -step guy. I love starting at step one and moving forward in a progressive order. So where does someone even begin that when they have actually made that decision in their mind that they want to transform? Where do we start? That's a great question. So I, I'm going to give you five, five broad categories. And the truth be told, we could take any one of these five and talk about it for an hour. But hitting high level on each one, um, our coaches are going to be very in tune to your specifics. That's what enable us to really get the results. And so unlike, we, we, you know, you hear out there these very highly general questions and then a template strategy. No, how you respond to specific questions and how your body responds is going to incredibly impact how your particular strategy is crafted. We start with body type. Uh, now, I, again, that's another trendy term, body types, ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph. Uh, there's more to it than that. Instead of thinking of body types as superior, you're this or you're that, think of it as a spectrum where you're going to have some genetic traits from all body types. However, you're going to have certain traits that make you more dominant in one versus the other. Now, in collecting data, watching thousands and thousands of people diet across the board, different strategies with diet and train across the board, thousands of strategies and training, we're able to actually 
parse and compare and say, okay, here's some correlations because there's no one diet or one exercise right. that always works best. What we are able to say is if this is your goal and this is your body type or genetic predisposition, then we can create a very justifiable and practical priority hierarchy where we can say, if you're not spending the majority of your time in these practices and these strategies, strategies, you're probably not optimal. And that's what we seek to do by starting with learning your goal and your body type. The second thing, and this is really, this will resonate with some people that have struggled in the past. We have to identify if you are what we call, I'm telling all my secrets here, a behavioral <laughs> or a metabolic client. Now, behavioral isn't a bad term. By the way, 85% of people fall under this category, and I do too. So it's not a dirty word. But what it means is um, there's two types of people. Say you want to lose weight. That's just one example. Say you want to lose weight. Some people can lose weight if they find the right strategy that they can truly implement and adopt into their lifestyle. A lot of people struggle to do that. It's like, oh, I got this program. It works great. But sticking on it is nearly impossible. That's behavioral. That's strategic. That's where having a coach help you implement the most time-saving strategies and really integrate it into your lifestyle will make all the difference in the world. Again, that's 85% of the people I work with. Now, the other percent are percentage are people who we deem metabolic, and we don't just guess. We actually test to find out where somebody lands. Metabolic is if, if you're one of those people, it's like, hey, Angelo, I, I've been eating good. I've been watching what I eat. I exercise regular. I'm doing everything all the gurus say to do within reason, and my weight or my body isn't budging. Your metabolic, just tr just if you're already reducing calories or watching what you eat, continuing to simply do more of that is probably not going to move the dial very much. In fact, that's kind of the <laughs> what is it the uh, that's what insanity means doing the same thing expecting a different <laughs> result. So the way that we're going to coach, train, diet program for someone who is behavioral versus actually has a broken metabolic rate are two completely different things. So that's the second thing we have to identify. And then that dovetails into um, your past and current dieting strategy and how it affects your metabolism. And so I have, there's, there's good news here and there's bad news. So, so the bad news is, yes, your previous diet attempts will impact how your body is likely to respond on your next diet attempt. And if ever you've had the experience of, you know, oh, I did a diet and I lost 20 pounds and it was really easy. And now I've done the same program, the same diet, same strategy, yet I'm not getting the same results. If you've ever experienced that, that's a direct correlation to how your body and your metabolism over time will acclimate to what you do to it, to the environment that it's in. Now, the good news is that it's not a death sentence. You can you can actually speed up your metabolism. Now, it's you know none of this you know take this magic pill or you know <laughs> gimmicks like that. It's not that there aren't good supplements out there on the market, um, but it, it's going to take time, work, and strategy. But you can reboot where your metabolism is at with the right strategy. So what the way that we identify where your metabolic profile is at is we'll use a baseline meal plan. So a lot of people say, oh, I can't follow a manuscript diet. That, that's true, a lot of people can't. But I bet you could for just a few days. In other words, you know, if I gave you a very specific set of, you know, breakfast, lunch, here's a couple snacks, things that you like, I bet you could follow it for just a few days. So that way I could see how your body responds to it compared to literally thousands of others of similar age, body type, et cetera, et cetera. Based on the results that I'm going to get from that, now I can 
actually make a justifiable recommendation or justifiably modify your meal plan and strategy based on how your actually uh, your actual results in real time. So we use a process called baseline testing and then we continue to baseline test in smaller ways to make sure that we're heading down the right path. So just recapping the first three, we look at your body type, we identify whether you are a metabolic or behavioral type, we look at your past and current diet history to give us an inkling of where you may be metabolically today, and then we test that hypothesis using a baseline meal plan to see how you actually respond. And then the, and then, uh, the next thing that we look at is actually going to be psychology. Now, this isn't, I don't, you know, own the market on this. It's a well-known fact that when you're working with athletes, um, you almost always are training in some sort of group forum. There's a uh, competitive nature that drives people to reach beyond what they typically would. That's just one example. So I work with everything from, I've had the privilege of working with everything from some of the highest paid athletes in the world, all the way down to grandma and grandpa who just want to feel better and have energy to play with the grandkids. And so the psychology involved in that can't be a one size fits all. If you have somebody who really gets to know you and understands your values and where you are in life, we can really align um, that psychological uh, draw and allure to the practical, to the fitness, to the nutrition, to the lifestyle. And so that's really what encompasses MetPro is we, we work with people to try to figure out the basics of who they are, where their body is at, so we can meet them with really the perfect strategy for them and evolve from there. So that's that's the basics of how we start. I threw a lot at you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it all in Fire Nation. This is how I operate. I love these type of steps. I mean, you start with your specifics. What is your goal? What is your body type? And then you figure it out. Are you behavioral or are you metabolic? Like what are the two, which one of the two are you? And then you're going to go through the current and past diet history. So you can get that baseline meal to actually test. And of course, there's so much psychology involved with this Fire Nation. That's something that I've realized. There's just been a couple of times where I've been like, you know what? I think today I may just like skip this meal. I don't feel super hungry right now. Or I may not do this or do that. And then Natalie's like, texting me and she's like, you will eat right now or you will do this. And I'm like, you know what? I am. There's my accountability. My psychology slipped for a second, but I'm going to make it happen. So I love it. It just works, Fire Nation. And that's the thing. Look in the mirror, seriously. And I love to ask myself this question. How's that working out for you? And the answer to your question of whatever is reflecting in the mirror, how's that working out for you? Maybe you look exactly how you want to look and you feel exactly how you want to feel. Guess what? The answer is that's working great for you. But if you're one of the many people like myself who look in the mirror and like, you know what? I, I look okay. I feel okay, but I know it could be a lot better. Then how's that past working out for you? It's time to make a shift. It's time to invest in yourself, not just financially. This is a time thing and you have to invest the time and you have to invest the energy to make this work. Like Angela said, there's a lot of great supplements out there. I take a lot of great supplements, but there's no magic pill. It comes down to work. So we're going to talk about a few other amazing things right now, Angela, but right before we do, um, Fire Nation needs to know something from you. We're going to get into a little more, actually probably a lot more detail at the end of this entire interview, which is still a ways away, um, about how Fire Nation can learn more about MetPro and how we can work with you on a higher level. But just right now, give us a real quick, what if we wanted to pause the episode right now and just go figure out exactly how we can maybe take the first step with MetPro? What would we do? Internet's a great place. MetPro.co uh, and then do slash fire because that we'll have some we'll have something special for your listeners. So MetPro.co uh, slash fire will have We'll have something special for you guys and you guys can learn more about it and you can actually get on the phone with someone mm, um, that and too. that and I, I it's worth just taking a second to explain when you get on the phone with one of our experts we don't have 500 people in a call center these are actual genuine experts 
talk with them, share a little bit about yourself. And I, I joke with people, I say, if you don't cringe a little bit when you answer some of the questions, you probably didn't open up enough. <laughs> but these are people who genuinely care about you and have experience really working closely with people. Get Let them get to know you and get to know them. So metpro.co slash fire. And it's so true, Fire Nation. I mean, literally, like I've become friends with Natalie, like her and my girlfriend, Kate, they email back and forth different meal plan ideas and stuff. I follow her on Instagram now. So I'm seeing when she's like going on a run and stuff. I'm like, Oh, I need to go on a run too. Like I need to make it happen. Like there's just no excuse. And like that kind of stuff is what it takes fire nation. So again, we'll go into a little more detail about everything at the end, but just for those people who are just like, you know what? It's time. I can press pause because this is a podcast and I can head over to metpro.co slash fire. So Angelo, there's a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of pain points for entrepreneurs who are trying to make this transformation. Talk to us about the biggest. This is one of my favorite questions. The biggest obstacle that people um, uh, that people will face, um, the biggest secret to success Time management, time management, time management. I get invited to do these, you know, retreats and executive uh, coaching and and you, you, seminars. And the the first everybody raises their hand. Angelo, I you know I've heard of Metro. I know who you are. I know who you coach. You train. What is the best exercise? Or what's the best thing to eat? And I tell I tell everyone you're asking the wrong question. Those are all important. But it starts even simpler than that. It's time management. Identifying how much time is needed for each piece of your strategy and having an absolute rock solid priority hierarchy. And that is where most people, most people go wrong. And it's not your fault. <laughs> it isn't. Uh, it, here's the mistake that we make. We all make this is we think about our health, we think about fitness, we think about getting in shape, we think about weight loss, whatever the goal is, we think about it as a decision. It's not a decision. Of course, everybody was you ask, hey, do you want to you want to get fit? You want to get in shape? Yeah, of course I want to. It's it's an easy decision. It's not a decision. It's not a decision. It's a skill. It's a skill that we suck at if we haven't had formal training. It's like saying, I want to, you know, I, I, I want to be a professional car mechanic. You don't just decide it. And then all of a sudden, you know how the engine works and the transmission works and how it doesn't work that way. You have to study and learn without somebody to teach you the ins and outs. Our lifestyle is all about multitasking um, go, 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 getting as much done as you can. We have in America, we have very specific cultures around um, the work day and how and when we eat. And all of those things will create obstacles to consistent success if we don't know how to transfer, traverse them. There are absolute ways of winning. But spending three hours a day trying to figure out, OK, I got to get exactly this. I got to get exactly that. And I got to go to the gym and I got to do this and I do that. You will run out of time. So it's all about learning how to say, OK, here are the most the three most absolute relevant things that I need to do to get from point A to point B. Here is the most time managed, cost effective, if efficient way of getting them done that will work with my schedule. If you can dial that in, you can transform. And that is whether whether or not you're a you're you know get paid millions of dollars to to play in the NFL or whether or not you have a 9 to 5 job down the corner. We all have 24 hours in a day. We all have a finite ability to recover from exercise. And so whatever time we spend, we need to be absolutely certainly certain that it is going to directly drive the result that we want. So where diving in a little bit to what that means circles back to why it's so important to know your genetic profile, your body type, and really honestly have goals laid out because a lot of people will do great programming, great nutrition strategy, great exercise that doesn't necessarily line up to their goal. I'll give you an example with like some, some pro athletes. 
I'll have pro athletes who will hire me to consult with them on their, their programming. And uh, th- they'll go through a whole list of, okay, here I'm training, you know, 14 to 16 hours a day for my sport. And I'm doing this, 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 this. And I'm looking at that. And I'm not, I mean, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Fantastic. There's nothing wrong here. Until I get to the point where I ask, now, what do you want to accomplish? What are you trying to get better at? And they give me a highly specific goal. And I say, well, here's the problem. I'm looking at this 15 hours a week that you're training, and I can only say two or three of these hours are directly correlative to the goal you're trying to accomplish. doesn't mean that any of the other exercise or any of the other activity is wrong or bad, but it's not harmonizing with your goal. So here's what we're going to change. We need to shift how you're allocating your time until we reach these specific objectives. And then we're going to move your programming back towards the center, back towards a a balance. That's, That's where the magic is at. A common area that people uh, make this mistake in, and self-included, is underestimating the impact of strategic nutrition on your body, weight, aesthetics, composition, and performance. And overestimating, and yes, I realize the implications of this, overestimating um, what exercise will do. Now, keep in mind, I am a fitness trainer. <laughs> uh, exercise is my business. Yet, I'm telling you, most people underestimate the contribution. So, you've heard the whole concept of abs are made in the kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. That is all correct. But in practical application, I, I tell people you, you have to be willing to kind of ignore your gut instinct. So when I ask someone, you know, hey, Billy, how many hours a week can you dedicate to getting the body you want or achieving this health objective or or performance objective? The answer he gives me will almost invariably be how many hours he can exercise. And that's not what I asked. What I asked is how many hours can you dedicate to transforming your body? And if he says to me, well, I can do five hours a week, great. That means that we have two or three hours a week for exercise because one to two hours I have spoken for in other areas that are frankly more directly correlated to them reaching the goal that they want. Like, well, what is your goal? Well, really, I want this, 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 but I want to lose 10 pounds first. Beautiful. I'm in. That means that the number one goal has to be some level of strategy and preparation around food. So there can be some level of consistency. Now, that's a huge topic. I mean, it can be everything from a blueprint diet to just, you know, life hacks and nutrition hacks that hopefully we'll have a little time to talk to talk about at the end. But we have to allocate the time for that. Then. If we're going to go to the gym or we're going to spend time in exercise, I need to make sure, since you only have a finite amount of time, that every second is spent in activities that are going to directly correlate to achieving your objectives. And once we check that off that objective, then we reevaluate and move you on to another hierarchy of priorities. So it's time management, time management, time management with just a dash of really well set priorities. Fire Nation, are you asking the right question in the first place? How is your time management? Think about that. I love that phrase. What is your priority hierarchy? Do you have that? And I'm telling you, you need to be raising your hand if you're just like me and you say, how many hours a week do you have to get more healthy or accomplish your health goals? And you're just going to name the amount of hours that you have to actually, quote unquote, exercise or hit the gym or work out. That's not it. It is much more important that you're allocating the proper time across all of the areas you need to. And guess what? You might not be the best person to do that, Fire Nation, which is why we need to rely on the pros on the experts, on the Met pros. And we have so much more we're talking about with Angelo when we get back from thanking our sponsor. Fire Nation, I'm here with Ian Siegel, the CEO of Zip Recruiter. And Ian, I've heard some employers struggle with getting enough qualified candidates to choose from. Do you have any suggestions for them? 
Well, every month, ZipRecruiter gets hundreds of thousands of jobs directly posted to our website. And as a result of that, we have a lot of data on what works and what doesn't work. And one of the really interesting things we uncovered is that the way you describe the requirements for your job will directly impact how many candidates you get, and in particular, the gender of the candidates who apply to your jobs. We have discovered a set of what we'd call gender-biased keywords that will heavily influence which gender decides to apply or not. Examples of this would include, do you say, I need ambitious go-getters who are willing to hard charge? If you use those as your descriptors, you're going to get a lot of men. Do you say, we have a nurturing environment on our customer support team? If you use those words, you're going to get a lot of women. You want to be thoughtful about using gender neutral terms to maximize the candidate pool that you get and to get a nice balance between men and women applying. Fire Nation, now these are actionable tips. And ask yourself, are you being mindful about the language you use in your posts? If you're paying money for a job post, you want to make sure you're making the most of it and cast the widest net possible. So heed the advice of experts to optimize what you put out there. Once your job description is optimized, ZipRecruiter scans millions of job seeker profiles and resumes on ZipRecruiter and across its network of over 100 job boards to find the right candidates and actively invite them to apply. As applications come in, ZipRecruiter analyzes each one and spotlights the top candidates so you never miss a great match. It's no wonder ZipRecruiter is rated number one by employers in the U.S. based on Trustpilot ratings of hiring sites with over a thousand reviews. And right now, Fire Nation, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash F-I-R-E, ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest web way to hire. So Angelo, we're back and I've never personally loved the word busy, but the reality is so many people consider themselves super busy all the time. It's just a reality of the world. So let's talk right now, you and me, and of course, Fire Nation. What are the most critical life hacks that we should be doing if we're only able to change a few things to get this ball rolling? You actually alluded to this earlier, but it, it's critical that you're able to define your strategy. So this is more from a knowledge base. You have to be able to define, and I'm going to even go one step further. I'm going to say even articulate your strategy. So if you can't put into words what you're doing or what you're changing with your nutrition uh, to improve your body, then it's not a well-formulated strategy. If you can't put into words exactly what's different about your exercise and your training, then it's not a well-formulated strategy. So define that first. The next thing I think we've already covered, and that is optimize your time. Um, if, if you don't know how to optimize your time, start with writing out, okay, what's priority number one, priority number two, priority number three. Now, if you have a day where everything blows up, well, you're only going to be able to check off the first box, priority number one. If you have a day where things go your way, hey, maybe we'll get to multiple things, but have a solid strategy for optimization. And then the third is just being honest and being able to look back and say, and you alluded to this, how is your body responding? Is this working? Uh, don't be overzealous. If you're seeing some gradual progress, that's right. Let me tell you, there's, everybody makes progress at a little bit different pace, but almost everyone asks me the same thing. Man, it feels so slow. I want to see faster progress. I had that asked to me by a guy who lost 60 pounds in a month. He said, it seems like I should be losing faster. Now, full disclosure, he was over 500 pounds when we started. But he even said, it seems like it, seems like it should be going a little faster. So no matter who you are, yeah, yeah, it always feels like it should be going a little faster. But if you're seeing gradual improvements, that's a good indication you're on the right track. But here's the deal. If you're not seeing progress, it's unlikely that continuing to do the same thing is going to change that. So we have to be willing to say, okay, I need to adjust something, whether it's nutrition, whether it's training, whether it's lifestyle, and it's almost a combination of all three of those things. Here's the secret. The secret I'd, li I'd love to teach you and your listeners is the secret of contrast, leverage. So if there is something that gives you leverage, that is the strategy of choice. So if we really boil it down, we're just trying to really simplify this. 
Um, you have exercise. That's a lever. You have your diet. We can get a little bit more granular. There's, there's calories. There's carbohydrates. There's a lot more than that. But those are two of the kind of grandfather techniques to manipulate, to change your body. Um, which of those levers is right for you? Well, the answer is it's the one that you have the most room. So people ask me all the time, you know, what, what's, what's the best way? Do I do a low carb or a ketogenic or do I, do I just watch my calories? Do I do more of a sports macro breakdown? Uh, what's right? Well, the answer is what are you currently doing? If you're used to eating very few carbs today, then doing more of that probably is not going to create enough contrast. If you're used to eating very few calories or you're really conscious of that, you're counting calories, continuing to do that probably is not going to create enough contrast for dramatic change. So we have to figure out how to create, how to build that contrast in. Every year when I take some of my physique athletes to competition, someone will come to me at one of the shows and say, you know, Mr. Poli, your athletes look great. What do you have them eating? And I give them the same tongue in cheek answer, you know, boiled chicken, broccoli, brown rice, you know, um, <laughs> invariably the question goes, well, if I eat that, will I look like them? Nope, <laughs> you won't. And the reason is because it's not about the food per se. It's about the contrast, the leverage. So that athlete who is standing on stage just shredded at 190 pounds or, you know, for, for a fitness guy, right? It's because the six, nine months before that, he spent time in the gym conditioning his body to higher and higher carbohydrates, higher and higher calories, greater workload with that extra energy coming in, a greater capacity for recovery. And so now he's used to eating all these calories and all these carbs. Then he goes into what we call the on season. And now he slashes himself down to, you know, 2,000, 1,900 calories of boiled chicken and broccoli. And guess what? The fat just incinerates off of his body because of contrast. So it's it's the it's the old story that I tell of the the three the three neighbors the three women they all get together and they're having coffee and they're talking about the different nutrition plans they're trying the different diets they try and they decide they're all going to go on the same diet that's 1500 calories. So they come back 30 days later one lost weight one gained weight and one stayed the same weight. Well with just that knowledge we can determine what those three women were used to prior to starting the, that, that particular diet. They all went on 1,500 calories. The woman who lost weight was used to eating more than 1,500 calories before beginning. The woman who gained weight was used to eating less than 1,500 calories before beginning. And the one who stayed about the same weight was used to about 1,500 calories before beginning. So you see how it's not the calorie intake, or that's why I'm saying it's not per se the food that you eat that is triggering that adaptive response in your body. It's the contrast, the leverage. And so it all starts with know thyself, know where you're beginning. You have to put a pin in the map before you start traveling so you can figure out where you've been and where you're going. That's the importance of metabolic profiling. So that dovetails into, yeah, 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 that's all great, but just give me one thing, right? <laughs> what, if I can do one thing tomorrow. So if you can do one thing tomorrow, here's what I want you to do. I want you to wake up and it's critical that First thing in the morning, I want you to prepare a healthy afternoon snack and bring it with you. But you have to prepare it in the morning. You have to bring it with you and actually eat it in the afternoon. Now, if you say, oh, that's too much, I can't do that, then you're probably not ready to transform your body. <laughs> but if you can do that one thing, you just do that one thing, you're going to be on track to it, it's a hidden disruptive behavior. It disrupts your entire day in a good way. And here's why. If you're willing to prepare a healthy afternoon, I mean, it's simple, fruit and nuts, basic, don't overthink it, clean, lean, healthy, quality food that is portable. Don't forget about portable. If you're willing to prepare that in the morning, 
That means that you're willing to wake up in time to deal with food first thing in the morning. That means you're probably going to eat breakfast. No sense in, you know, slicing up an apple and putting some nuts into a bag and not grabbing a little bit for breakfast. So I know you're probably going to be able to get breakfast. Then because you've had breakfast, your blood sugar is going to be a lot more stable. Appetite is going to be more under control. You're more likely to order well or eat well at lunch. Also, you know you have a snack coming, which you promised me you're going to get. So you'll probably start to, over time, improve lunch habits. Then when you have that snack in the afternoon, it's magic. Afternoon is critical. See, because breakfast and lunch, most people go between four and five hours. Um, but often it's easy, especially for busy professionals, to go six, seven, eight, nine sometimes hours between lunch and dinner. It just happens. We're late at the office, whatever the case may be. So that afternoon snack is critical. And what it does is it'll curb cravings. It'll keep your metabolic rate running faster. It'll stabilize blood sugar and it'll help you to stay more in control when it comes to dinner. So now what's happened is with just one single hack, You've disrupted positively the entire flow of your nutritional day because you're getting breakfast. You're not killing yourself at lunch. You're having an afternoon snack that we already know is healthy, and that sets you up for success in the evenings. Because everyone says, oh, I have no problem with food during the day. At nighttime, everything goes out the window, and that's where it's a disaster. <laughs> I know. I, I can be the same way. Well, guess what? That The nighttime eating is a symptom, not a cause. It's a symptom of not having a cadence that sets you up for success earlier in the day. So can you, can you make an afternoon snack for me? That's all I'm asking. You just want that one thing. Let me give you something, um, a simple, a single life hack related to your exercise. Stop exercising for as long. Start exercising more frequently. I know it was gasp before you send hate mail. Okay. Like, well, Mr. Poli told me not to exercise as much. That's not what I said. I would rather you build a cadence around frequency over all else, more than intensity, more than duration, more than any of those other things, because I can build off of frequency. I can't build off of intensity. I can't build off of duration. What do you do? You train for two hours today. Can you go to two and a half? No, that's not what I'm looking for. But if you say, hey, I can do 15 minutes and I can do it Monday through Friday. You know what? I, with that small amount of time, with a good priority hierarchy, going back to what we were talking about earlier, we can do a lot of damage. With 15 minutes, we can get in and out and actually get something done. And when we're no longer moving the dial, we can add five minutes. We can bump that up. I can build onto it. There's nothing for me to build onto if I don't have you in the routine of exercising in the first place. And that's really what it all boils down to is having a daily routine in place. The best way to build a routine is to anchor it to something critical in your schedule. Uh, one of my favorite illustrations for this is um, some of some of the moms that I work with. Like, well, what's the best time I should exercise before Johnny wakes up in the morning or when this or when that? And there's no wrong answers here. Um, but I'll often ask do you, do you pick Johnny up from school? And if she says yes, like, perfect. Your workout slot is right before that, because I'm pretty sure you're not going to forget your son at school. You're going to do that. So there's something in your schedule I can anchor to. So that goes for everyone. If there's something in your schedule that doesn't move that we can anchor that exercise to, it's much more likely to get done. So prepare an afternoon snack for me first thing in the morning and start doing short workouts on a more daily cadence that's anchored to something that you know isn't moving. And if you just do just those two things, we're off to a good start. Fire Nation, that 15-minute workout has been a game changer for me. Because do you know how many times is I've been standing here and I've been like, 
I don't have time for a 45 minute workout. I don't have an hour. Then I have to shower and Fire Nation, get over yourself. And I had to get over myself. What do I do now? Thanks to Natalie hammering at home. I do these great 50 minute burst workouts every single day. And guess what? Sometimes I'm down there. I'm like only down there because I'm going to be there for 15 minutes and I can psychologically get myself down to the gym. And now I'm like, well, you know, I can stretch this to 20 or 25 minutes. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do. And then now I've just had an incredible workout, whether it be 15 or 20 or 25 minutes, opposed to zero minutes because I had this, you know, silly little thought in my head that I had to have this burner of a 45 hour, hour 15 workout, like get over that fire nation. And one more thing I want to make sure to sum up from what Angelo just broke down. The secret of contrast is leverage. Where do you have the most room to improve? Period. End of story. Now, there's a lot of listeners right now, Angelo, that have been hearing you talk and me speaking about my experience with Natalie and MetPro in general, and they want to learn more about their metabolism or just talk with your team of experts, which are awesome, real human beings. So break down that process for us. Go to metpro.co slash fire. Um, and uh, schedule schedule to talk to someone. There's no, there's no commitment. Just talk to find out where you're at. A lot of people call us up and say, I have done this, 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 and this. Someone's calling Here's right your- now. Is this a live show? <laughs> Fire Nation, are you calling in right now? That's amazing. <laughs> they have a legitimate question of I've done this, 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 and this. And they want to know why has XYZ worked? Why is it not working now? Or what is my best odds of finding something that will work for me? And that can be anything from ranging from, hey, Angela, I want to I want to bench 300 pounds. I want to run a sub six minute mile and I want to have less than 10 percent body fat. And what our coaches are going to tell you is we can do that. You have to pick which one you want to do first. You can't do all three things at the same time, not with specificity. So let's break it down. So it'll just walk you through kind of a, a mental exercise of what it is working for you, what a good strategy would be, and then talk to you about how, you you know, if it's a good fit, uh, who a great coach would be to help you achieve those objectives. So reach out to us, talk to us. At the very worst, you'll just learn something new. So it's uh, it's been awesome getting to, to visit with everyone today. Well, I know they've loved it as well, Angelo. And Fire Nation, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to your significant other. You owe it to your loved ones. You owe it to your kids. Let's extend your life in a healthy way, 5, 10, 20 in exponential years by doing the things right today that you know you can and should be doing if you just had somebody there telling you the step-by-step process. So head over to metpro.co slash fire. You owe it to yourself. Have that no obligation conversation. And even if you walk away and say, you know what, I just can't do it right now for any number of reasons, that conversation will have helped you. So have that convo. Make that link with yourself in MetPro. And if now's not the right time, the future might be the right time, but have that phone call now. Make it happen. Because you, Fire Nation, are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you have been hanging out with AP and JLD today. So keep up the heat. And as always, head over to eofire.com. Type Angelo. That's A-N-G-E-L-O, Angelo, in the search bar. His show notes page will pop up with everything that we talked about today. Links to everything. But the only call to action link you need to remember, Fire Nation, is Metpro. Dot co slash fire. Angelo, thank you for sharing your truth, your genius, your value bombs with Fire Nation today. For that, brother, we salute you and we will catch you on the flip side. Thanks so much. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's value bomb content was brought to you by Angelo and Met Pro. And if you're ready to accomplish that one big goal, well, hello, the Freedom Journal is the key because when you follow that step-by-step guidance, you'll accomplish that number one goal in 100 days. And why not combine that maybe with working with a company like metpro.co slash fire so that you can actually accomplish an amazing health goal in 100 days with the help of the Freedom Journal, with the help of MetPro's pros. If you get Natalie, by the way, you're super lucky. She's amazing. And I just want to say thank you, Fire Nation, and I will catch you on the flip side. 
Fire Nation, as an entrepreneur, you know what it's like to wear many hats and feel busy all the time, but to take your business to the next level, you have to start doing things more efficiently. One way to do that, hire the right people, and ZipRecruiter can help. ZipRecruiter's powerful technology scans thousands of resumes to identify people with the right skills and experience and actively invites them to apply to your job so you get qualified candidates fast. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire.